the Danneries of Old Returns. Stannis marches on, and Jon Snow gambles yet again. Spoilers for Game of Thrones. Kill the boy, follow, and then they weren't. After the bloody events of last week, Kill the Boy was bound to be a more measured hour of Game of Thrones. Well, so long as you weren't the unfortunate Mirini's leader who was burned alive, ripped clean in half, and devoured by a pair of ornery teenage dragons. Instead, the episode began by dealing with the aftermath of Sons of the Harpy, revealing the fate of Grey Worm, alive, and Sir Barrows down the bold, dead. Though it was a shame, the audience never got an extensive look at the finer works of an artist who was said to have only used red. The outcome makes sense. Barrowstone was old and had little that connected him to anyone else on the entire continent other than Danneries. Grey Worm, on the other hand, still has an army of unsullied de captain and a budding romance with Miss Ida to pursue. Jacob Anderson's scenes with Natalie Emmanuel are always a rare showcase for both, but seeing the two former slaves finally admit their feelings for each other was a happy moment in an episode otherwise largely devoid of them. The ambush may also prove a turning point for Danneries, who has spent most of the last season and a half proving herself a wanting leader. Much of that could be attributed to her lack of experience manifesting itself in her tendency to be reactive rather than proactive, a major departure from her approach while conquering the cities of Slavers Bay. Of course, taking the leaders of the great families of Mirin to meet her children is a reaction to the ambush, but it feels like the sort of bold gesture the Danny of old would have made. She doesn't cower in fear, she doesn't overreact. All she has to do, as Dario pointed out in the season's first episode, is remind those who would challenge her that she is the mother of dragons. After seeing what Vasarian and Rachel were capable of, his Darzola Rex life-saving declaration of Valar Morgulis is as much an obvious statement of fact as it is an attempt to show bravery in the face of death.